Right, uh, my name's Paul Salter, I work for Wes Radio in Wangarei and um, I'm just going to uh, take a minute or two to demonstrate uh, the practical effect of interference generated by LED lights. We have a radio here that's just been installed in this vehicle. We are on the local Wangarei channel. Now the local Wangarei channel is generated from a hilltop called Manu Mountain and it's, and it's uh, by the way, the crow flies only about 10 k's away. This vehicle is in our workshop at Hirakino Street, so you can look up both Manu Mountain and Hirakino Street and uh, you'll see that they're actually relatively close. We're going to um, demonstrate what happens when we turn the LED lights on. The LED lights are that switch there. We're going to establish a test call and uh, you'll be able to hear what happens to the incoming signal. Uh, where's radio? Where's radio? Uh, you're there for a radio copy, please, Asset? Yeah, lovely. Uh, can I get you to do another test count, uh, 1 to 10, and back again, please? Eight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. When we turn the lights on, that's what happens. Eight, four, three, turn two, them off again, we get our signal back again. Thank you, Asset. Uh, that's lovely. Um, I might actually pay you a visit this afternoon just to give you uh, an idea of what we're up to. Thank you. Bye for now. LED lights just here and these LED lights generate interference. Right next to the LED light I have a, um, a spectrum analyzer which is capable of look looking at the radio spectrum. The center frequency is 150 megs which is right in the middle of the E band or locally known as the forestry band or the bush band. What we're going to do now is we're going to turn the lights on. We can turn the lights on and you will see on the screen up here that interference from these lights is now generated right across the entire band, centered at 150 megs and it's a 50 meg span so 25 megs high and low of 150 megs is now effectively wiped out by radio interference. Now we'll just get the lights turned off and you will see that the interference signal disappears. These little little things that are, are, are popping up here, they're actually viable radio signals from other radios in the vicinity. But just to prove it one more time, we'll get the lights turned on and you can see the interference occurring right across the entire band. Lights off again. Thank you.